Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we discussed what is self-service password reset or SSPR. We discussed how self-service password reset works, how to configure self-service password reset in Azure Active Directory, how to configure authentication methods for self-service password reset, how end users can set up contact details as per the authentication methods configured by administrators, how end users can reset their passwords using self-service password reset portal, and we discussed how an administrator can analyze the password reset activities using password reset audit logs. In this particular video, we will be discussing how the reset passwords are written back to on-premise Active Directory. That means we are going to talk about password write back feature. We call it self service password reset write back as well. So we will discuss how password write back feature works. We will discuss what happens in the background when a synchronized user resets or changes his password using self service password reset portal, how things work in the background. And we will talk about the prerequisites those are required to be met in order to set up password write back feature. As we know, users can reset or change their own passwords using self service password reset portal. Now, if your users are completely hosted in Azure Active Directory, that means they are directly provisioned in Azure Active Directory. Their new passwords, those are reset or changed by the users will be updated in Azure Active Directory database. And when user will log in with his new password, Azure Active Directory will authenticate those users. But let's say in our environment, we have on-premise Active Directory and we have Azure AD Connect deployed in our on-premise environment with password hash synchronization. So that means the passwords for on-premise users are stored in on-premise Active Directory and Azure AD Connect is synchronizing those passwords to Azure Active Directory. Now let's say if one of the on-premise users will reset his password using self-service password reset, that password will not be written back to on-premise because by default, Azure AD Connect do not synchronize the passwords back to on-premise. So when a new password sync cycle will run, the old password that was already stored in on-premise will overwrite the new password in Azure Active Directory. In short, the user will not be able to log in with this new password. Even if you are using password authentication in on-premise, the new password that is reset by the end user using self-service password reset will not be written back to on-premise. So again, user will not be able to log in with this new password. Because in case of password authentication, the authentication is performed by on-premise Active Directory. So this is where password write back feature come in the picture. Password write back or self-service password reset write back is a feature of Azure Active Directory that writes the passwords from Azure Active Directory to on-premise Active Directory. When a user resets or changes his password using self-service password reset portal, password writeback feature writes those passwords back to on-premise in real time using Azure AD Connect. Now let's talk about the features those are provided by password writeback. You can use password writeback feature if you are using password hash synchronization, if you are using pass-through authentication, or if you are using Active Directory Federation Services or ADFS. When a user resets or changes his password using self-service password reset portal, the on-premise password policies are enforced on that password. That means whatever complexity you have defined for password policies in on-premise, the same complexity will be enforced while resetting the password. For example, password complexity or password age. Password write back is a synchronous operation. Users are notified immediately if their passwords do not meet the policy or they can't reset or change their passwords for any other reason. When an administrator resets password for Azure AD portal for a synchronized user, 
that password is also written back to the on-premise Active Directory. This functionality is not currently supported if passwords are reset from Office 365 Admin Center. In order to use password write back, you do not have to create a firewall rule to allow traffic and you do not have to open any sort of port number. So now let's understand the background process of password write back. When a synchronized user tries to reset or change his password using self-service password reset portal, a check is performed on the user's password. That means where is the password managed for this user? Whether it is managed in Azure Active Directory or it is managed in on-premise Active Directory. If the password is managed in Azure Active Directory, user will be able to reset his password and the password will be stored in Azure Active Directory database. If the password is managed in on-premise Active Directory, the next check will be performed to see if password writeback is enabled for the tenant or not. And if the password writeback service is up and running. If the service is not running or the password writeback feature is not enabled, the user will get an error that you can't reset your password right now. And if password writeback service is up and running, the user will reach to the password reset page. After proving his identity, user will type a new password and will click submit. As soon as user will click submit, his password will be encrypted using the public key that was created during password writeback setup. Then this encrypted password is sent to the service bus relay of Azure Active Directory tenant over port 443. Once the message reaches the service bus, the password reset endpoint automatically wakes up and it finds that it has a reset request pending. Then this service will try to find the user account using the cloud anchor attribute. And once the user account is found, the password reset attempt is done in on-premise Active Directory. If the password reset operation was successful, user will get a prompt that your password has been changed. But if password reset operation is failed, user will get an error. Now there could be multiple reasons why password reset operation got failed. Like the password reset service was down, the password that user selected doesn't meet the password policies in on-premise, or the user account wasn't found in on-premise Active Directory. So this is how password writeback process works in the background. Now let's understand what are the prerequisites for password writeback. To use password writeback feature, you need Azure Active Directory Premium P1 license. Before you set up password writeback, you need to make sure that self-service password reset is enabled in your tenant. You need global administrator account of your Azure AD tenant and you need your on-premise Active Directory Enterprise Administrator account. And you need Azure AD Connect installed in your on-premise with the latest version. In the next video, I will demonstrate you how to configure and set up password writeback feature in Azure Active Directory. We will discuss what permissions you need to assign on on-premise Azure AD Connect service account, what changes are required within group policies in on-premise Active Directory, what changes you need to do in Azure AD Connect, and then we will see the user's experience, how a synchronized user will reset or change his password using self-service password reset portal, and how an administrator can verify if password reset or password change activity was successful. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any feedback or suggestion, please write in comments. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.